Welcome back. We're in Las Vegas. You're watching Toe to Toe Tuesday. It's the BBC here on FS1. Time now for our first fight of the evening as we take a look at the Corona tale of the tape. Linnell Bellows taking on Antoine Akins, and as you can see, Akins is younger. He's got a substantial height and reach advantage. Let's see if he uses those advantages in this fight or if Bellows can get on the inside and fight. Both men are in the ring. We get the official introduction from Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Sam's Town Live here in Las Vegas, Nevada, live on FS1. This is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with eight rounds in the super middleweight division. The three judges ringside are Tim Cheatham, Patricia Morse Jarman, and Dave Moretti. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Tony Weeks. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue with the white trim. His professional record, 10 wins, no losses, one draw, one win coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Antoine Iceman Akins. Across the ring out of the blue corner, wearing the gray and the blue. As a professional, 14 wins, one loss, one draw, seven wins coming by way of KO. Fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lanell KO. Bello started boxing late at the age of 21. Since this is his first time fighting on national television, he says, people will see tonight, no one outworks me. Antoine Aikens, well, just like Bellows, he started fighting a little bit late, but he says, Bellows throws nothing but power shots. I will see every last one of them coming and I will make him pay. This is round one. Aiken comes out, he's got the blue trunks. Bellows, he's in the great trunks. Let's see if Aiken can keep this fight on the outside. He's got the reach advantage. Obviously, you can see the height advantage as well. As Bellows is going to try to get his way inside. He says he's going to work his way with the jab to get on the inside. This is the feeling out process for both guys. Bellows is trying to establish himself with a jab, and the other young man is trying to establish his range with his jab. Also, it's good to hear that Bellows say he wants to use his jab to work his way in. Uh, coming from a short guy, I know that's what you got to do. You got to use the jab. Here's the stiff jab, too, by Bellows. The jab seems to be pretty effective so far, too. Bellows missed with that left hook, and this is a young man, man, I'm talking about Bellows, Sean, who you know fairly well. You sparred him not too long ago, a couple years ago. Yeah, we've we've done a number of rounds together, so it's, for me, it's just good to see him in here doing this, and uh, I want to see what he does. What he does. Um, the jab is going to be uh, is going to be key, pivotal for him, and he's 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 using it right now. I like to see him use it a little bit more. He's getting a little wild with his hook. Uh, you know, when, you, when you're a guy that likes to rely on power, you will get away from the jab. Even the jab has power on it, so you can. That, even the jab is a sign that that's kind of what he's looking for. Is, is, is for power to knock him out. Once again, Bellows misses. We've got a minute left here in round one. We're scheduled for eight. But the other kid short says, "Ice man, let's see how cool it calm." he can remain under these uh, power shots that are coming at him. Aiken, unbeaten. Has just one draw on his record, and that came in his last fight last November. Yeah, let's talk about Aiken a little bit. He's got to use his jab. He's got to use the reach. And like we all know, he's got to keep Bellows on the outside. He's not doing that right now. He's just looking, watching, waiting. Again, that filling out round, I, I, I guess, you know, both guys are just not sure of themselves right now. And uh, one guy's trying to establish the power, the other guy's trying to figure out what he wants to do. 
Cer certainly apologize for some of the audio video issues that we had here early on as these guys tie it up. Final seconds here of round one. And round one is in the book. You're watching Toe to Toe Tuesday. Sean, what, what do you think? The best attributes from Bellows besides well, you, power? Well, you know what? Uh, I saw a lot in that first round. There's a lot I like the things that I saw when I sparred him. A lot of power, a lot of coming forward. Hard to stop a guy like that. And I'm still waiting on Akins to establish this jab. He's got to get this jab working in order for this guy to respect him. If he wants Bellows to respect him, he's got to get this jab working. Aiken undefeated, but has just one career knockout to his record, so not a very big puncher from a Bellows perspective and a trainer's perspective, uh, Kenny. He throws everything hard. Would you yes. like to see him vary some of the speeds of the He punches? definitely needs to vary the speed. He needs to vary the, the power and the intensity and uh, set up the jab and the power with some feints. That would be very helpful for him. Minute gone here now in round two. Here you see a couple of feints. Bells, I think he's listening to you, Ken. The feints work and the jab works, but I need to see some, some adjustments from Akins. There's nothing coming from him right now. A little bit more movement, but I need more punches. That's how you win a fight. Yeah, he's got to establish that jab. But, uh, his corner's got to make that adjustment with him. I see Bellows is picking up his intensity. He's trying to, you know, cut off the rain a little bit, and uh, he's using his jab. But, like, you know, I would like to see it vary with more speed and, and less power on the jab. And I, I think that goes back to what you were saying about the first round being the fill-out part process. He's felt out Akins. He knows that Akins isn't coming with much, so that, that's probably built up his confidence, and he knows that he can throw those heavy shots and land them. We'll see, Aiken tried to catch Bellows with a check, check left hook coming in. That's where Akins doesn't want to be. Once he, he ties up, those long arms, they're useless to him. He needs to stay on the outside. And Bellows needs to cut off this ring. He needs to take an angle to get to this guy. He's kind of overshooting his punches and stepping over his body weight with his punches. He's got to cut the ring off, take angles, and then start his work. There's a left hook. I can't help but laugh at the things my dad's saying right now because you can see right there that Bellows, he started to make that adjustment of stepping over instead of actually following the guy, which is good. It's going to work for him. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I was getting ready to ask us, how do you cut that, properly cut the ring off on him? Yeah, it's about, it's about your footwork. Can you take those quick steps to the side to actually stop a guy from moving one direction? And then that actually cuts off the ring when he goes to move the opposite way. He doesn't have as much room to move as he did before. Here comes the final seconds. Round two. Double left hook by Aiken to end the round. Aiken out of Atlantic City. First time for him fighting here in Las Vegas. Hadn't been very active, had just two fights last year, one fight in 2014. So had some promotional issues. Here he is now starting the year off against Linnell Bellows. You know what, I took a peek into that Aiken's corner. He shook his head yes a lot, and his corner was moving his mouth a lot. So it looks like he got some good instructions, some, some more instructions, we'll see what happens. Eight a body shot and then a left hook from Bellows. Bellows is applying the pressure now. He senses that this guy is not doing anything to stop him from coming forward. And that alone can make the difference. Sometimes your activity, the way you're moving your body, the energy, that alone <laughs> will wear down a guy, will make him wonder and think, stop his motions, all that. So it's good to see him using those body feints and more energy. Can't rely on your power though. You gotta use your jab to get where you're going. He needs to cut this ring off, take those angles, and get to this guy's body, slow him down a little bit. Is there, is there, is there really that much power in that jab or is Aikens just flying back? What's going on there? No, we got a guy that's stepping with all of his power on his jab. That's why his body weight is leaning over his punches. Yeah. That's why he's re reaching with his shots. He doesn't step with his, his, his uh, hands and feet working together. He's kind of stepping into it with power, and that's about it. We're halfway through round three. Bellows again, another jab. 
in these gray trunks. Aiken's in the blue trunks. And so if you're Aiken, you know you don't have a lot of power. You got a bigger guy in front of you. What do you do to win rounds here? He needs to work that jab more. He needs to punch in combination. This is something that they should have figured out before they got here. It's a little late to be trying to figure it out now. He's got to let his hands go. Aiken's very indecisive right now. He wanted to throw jab. Bellows was coming in. He stopped. Went to hope. Yeah, he, 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 that, that won't get him a victory tonight. Bellows continues to touch him with his jab. We're under a minute now in round three. If I'm Aikens, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my feet. I'm going to move both directions to make Bellows square up, to make Bellows miss a step. But he's got to capitalize with punches. He's not doing it. There you go. And action picks up now. You know, the bad part about throwing is you might get some when you throw some off. So. Yeah, but he, he, if uh, Akins wants to win this fight, he's got to punch a combination. Yeah, he's going to have to mix it up at some point. He's giving up rounds just by allowing the other guy to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, i got to give Bellows credit. He is stepping into his jab really hard. So I can understand why Akins doesn't want to be there. There's a jab to the stomach by Akins. And a right hand by Bellows at the bell. Linnell Bellows is really building confidence round after round, becoming more aggressive. And, you know, the other guy is going to have to do something to stop this freight train from coming at him. Well, the Iceman has been put on ice so far in this fight. Yeah, Iceman needs to heat up. There's a left hand by Bellows. He's got to show a sense of urgency to, to, to win some rounds here because I, I, I see him as being down in these rounds and uh, it's from inactivity. Combination by Bellows. Take a look at how you've got the fans have this one scored so far. You've got Bellows pitching the shutout. I would agree with that. Finally throws a jab, it hits the guard though of Bellows. So he's gonna have to put more jabs out there. He's gotta use some feints and try to land that jab. He's gotta make that jab work. What about me? I, I want your opinion on this dude. I, I, I need more body work from Bellows. He's gotta start working from the bottom to the top. The jab is great, but it's not enough. If he wants to get this guy out of here, if he wants to get Aikens out of here, he's gotta start from the body work his way up. What do you think? There's a left hand that caught Bellows coming in. And a right hand. Yeah, because he's swinging. Left hook. <laughs> he's swinging so hard for the head, he's missing. And he's taking himself out of the play. He's off he's balance. You know, he really needs to settle down, get to the body, and work his way back up. I would agree with that. Yeah, and he's not fighting a bad fight right now, but he could do a lot better. And I think uh, implementing more body work would make this fight a lot better for him. You know, and that's what these young guys need, these type of fights, to learn and uh, to grow and get better at what they're doing. So hopefully, you know, they can make an adjustment in this corner to get him to start taking angles, get to the body, and come back to the head, set the head shots up. Right here, we see more cutoff, but we don't see, he's not capitalizing on the cutoff right now. And Aikens goes down, but obviously is a push. We resume action. 30 seconds now here in round four. And Bellow starts to go to this body a little bit more. He'll be able to chop this tree down. Mr. Aikens still not using the jab. We need a jab. He's got to establish a jab in order to stop this guy, from, you know, in order to stop Bellow from coming forward. I want to command Bellow's corner. I can see him using the step over move now to cut off the ring. He's making his ring very small on Aikens right now. Final seconds here, round four. And a right hand from Bellows again at the bell. Round five. And I would say uh, after four rounds here, uh, Mr. Bellows is pitching out, a sh pitching the shutout. He's pitching the shutout, and in my opinion, he's getting better. He's, he looks like he's getting stronger as the rounds go on. 
which as a young guy, like you said, you need fights like this to prove to yourself, you know, I'm in shape, I can listen to my corner, stay focused, I can improve during the fight, make adjustments. Now, from a trainer's perspective, once again, as these guys get tied up, Aikens goes down, but it's a push. Kenny, would you be telling Bello, look, we got to turn up the intensity. I think you can stop this guy. He's got no power. Let's go ahead, as you said, work the body, and let's get out of here. I would really be pushing for him to get to the body. I noticed that he changed sizes on him. He kind of dipped with his head, and that threw uh, Aikens off. If he can continue with that type of pressure, get to the body, he can definitely get an early, uh, early night here. I think as a fighter, you can see what can happen, what will, what will work. I just want to take my headset off and, and scream to Bella to go at the body because he goes at the body. This is going to end soon. Yeah, he's definitely a headhunter. Yeah. And he needs to, to you know, uh, get to the body and uh, the, the head will follow. There we Halfway go. Halfway through, yeah, round five. It was a good right hand to the body that time by Bella. Follows it up with his left and then another right hand. We can get a left hook to the body along with that right to the body. And we'll start chopping the tree down. And I've been waiting all night for Mr. Akins to get his jab working. It's just not happening for him tonight with that jab. Now the right hand. Take that right hand. Drops Akins. Big right hand. Gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes eight seconds of the fifth round for your winner by knockout. Love now, KO Bellows. Ronell Bellows lives up to his moniker KO. He gets the KO of the Iceman, Antoine Akins, as he puts him on ice with that right hand. When we come back, our next fight, you're watching the PBC here on FS1.